Hello guys, this is Sports Freak Guys here, and um, today I'm going to be showing you how to stream your music, your, um, let's see, your music, your videos, and your photos straight from your computer or a laptop to your PlayStation and to your TV without using Windows Media Player. The reason I don't use Windows Media Player, it sucks. It doesn't give in to my system. It doesn't say that it's shareable media. And I'm going to prove to you right now that that is the situation. So I'm going to go to my laptop cam with Cam Studio. It's free. Get it. Uh, it is excellent for recording right off your PC. And I will prove to you that I can't do it. Guys, so yeah, I just told you about um, I'm going to show you that Windows Media Player does not work. Now take me for granted that my PS3 is on and the media um, sharing is enabled. So let me just double check. Yes, it is. So I'm going to show you that it doesn't do it on mine anyway. Hold on. I'm going to get that. There it is. So... Usually, you're supposed to just simply go to the library, stream, turn on media streaming, blah, blah, blah. As you can see, my device is not there. So, I'm like, there's got to be another option. So, I did what uh, I sh am going to tell you about um, PS3 Media Server. And the only requirement I really say that you kind of need for this device is the latest update of JavaScript. If you don't keep updating and installing the latest versions of JavaScript, this will not work. I've already had that experience. Um, I thought the thing was never going to work again until today when I downloaded the latest version and then it worked again. So just remember to update JavaScript. So online, uh, the website you're going to go to is ps 3 media server.org. I'll put a link in the description as well. And it's going to take you to a site like this. You choose your computer, whether it's a Mac, a PC, or a Linux. Uh, I have a PC. You're going to get something like this. You want to click on this link right here. Uh, now this is for PC, and I bet it's the same thing for Linux and uh, Mac too, and it's going to look sort of like this. So you want to click that, click run, install it, and you're good to go. This is what you're going to see when you come out. Alright, this is the thing you're going to look at. PS3 Media Server. It's going to be a PlayStation and a PlayStation remote next to it. Now, I got my thing already on my system currently, so it may have a check by it, may not. Um, so, you're going to get this. It's searching for renderer. Uh, it may find you, may not. For me, it's not been finding me lately. But yet, uh, my media server is still here on my PlayStation, um, and I'll show you. And I'll show you in my last video since I did it earlier, and I had the exact same problem that uh, it um, um, that it does work still. It should be easier for you guys, but it always works for me, even if my renderers are not there. So now I'm going to go to my thing and show you that PS3 and show you what it looks like, what you can get into. And the fact that you can, that sometimes, like me, you can get an XB, you can still have it. Okay, so that does it for this portion of the video. Um, next portion. Hey guys, okay, so this is my TV. Um, now, as you can see, I don't know if you can see that well or not. You should be able to. There is the PS3 media server. Okay, now to show you that that was not directly on my computer, I'm going to go here, I'm going to restart the server. Alright, so, first, I'm going to quit the server. PS3 system has been disconnected from the media server. And as you can see, it's gone. Okay, it's not there. Now watch what happens. When I turn this thing back on, go to the PS3 media server. 
Sorry, Sony Blog Touch has a problem with going in and out. You see, you're going to get that plug, and then it should connect to your PlayStation if it's working all correctly. Hold on. Okay. So you see, it wasn't able to connect um, right now. However, if you restart the server, it should connect. Now, for some odd reason, my PlayStation over here actually says that it is connected. I don't know if you can see that or not. It says it's connected for some odd reason. I'll try it again here, uh, and it should connect to the re to the um, should connect again. Well, even though it's saying no servers were found, you can still see though that the PSD Media server is on there. And uh, it goes on and off as you please. Now just to prove to you how much you can get in out of this, not only can you ask us your other files, you can literally open up your entire computer. So you see here's my C, here's all some files I have, da da da. You go to Windows, Users, and then Me. Well, at least it's focusing in on this. As you can see, there's downloads, documents, favorites, links, music, pictures. I'm not going to go into videos, but uh, you have videos. I'll put uh, music, for example, because there's nothing there. Or there is there is stuff there, but... Uh, um, so you can narrow it down with every single file that is on your laptop. It is very cool. Ah, come on. I swear. Doctor E. Jonas Brothers, Michelle Leona Lewis. Of course, most of these people I only have about one or two songs from, actually. Leona Lewis, I got her leading love just to show you. So you can literally get down to the... You can literally get down to the file of everything. Now, if you want, uh, I'll show you a, uh, an example of... They're probably going to be under downloads. Macintosh, all the Adobe programs I have. Bolt. Lady Gaga. Nelly. Home Republic. Love that band. Um, so just, yeah, just a lot of different things. So, yeah, that's what you can do with the PS3 Media Server. Uh, um, sports for you guys. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, surprises would be nice too, of course. Um, PM me if you have any trouble with this. Remember, if you do get an error, it might be because you don't have the latest Java script update. That is really the one thing that I find necessary for this program to work. So, for now, this is Sports Freak Guys here saying goodbye and happy YouTubing.